Hello everyone, Andreas here and this is a quick video about something quite interesting. I found uh, somewhere on Alibaba. It's uh, called a Wi-Fi controller uh, for LEDs and they claim it's Android compatible uh, something like that for about 9 euros. So I ordered two of these pieces and they come as they shown in the picture in these little boxes. So um, my original plan was to reverse engineer the protocol and to use it in my home automation system. But as I got them, uh, first, of, um, first thing I did was make uh, open them. So these uh, small boxes uh, have connectors, make a quite good, uh, uh, looks quite good. So to open them there are four screws and the Android uh, the seller sends you after pa uh, payment an APK package for Android phones where you can uh, t to install this app. As I open them uh, you see this small uh, main uh, PCB with uh, five end channel MOSFETs and something what appears uh, just a ledge and it's in fact uh, just a driver for the MOSFETs and to my very surprise, my new best friend, the ESP8266. It's this super cheap wireless LAN controller you can get for about $3 in this package or in something like that. The development for this uh, controller is quite good because you can now program it with the Arduino IDE just with a sim uh, few simple uh, just like a normal Arduino and um, to my other very lucky surprise there are also a few pin headers or holes for pin headers and they are labeled with 3.3 GND TX RX and something that appears to be a jumper. So I soldered a few pin headers on it and uh, two, uh, four for the serial connection and two for a jumper because I had some uh, some feeling what's the use of this pin. After that I just connected to a regularly USB serial converter. Um, they are labeled so it's no problem and now if I plug in a power connector and close the jumper so and power up the device ta-da and the default string for the bootloader appears so then we can use the Arduino IDE select generic ESP8266 module, select our COM port and just press program. So it's basically the same code used for my other video uh, to control the dark light and core with open hub. It took me a while to figure out the pin layout. Um, here the, the fades are connected on these pins and you have to be, keep in mind that they use not the standard serial ports, the TX goes to serial 1 if you use, want to use it and the RX is serial that you have to keep in mind if you use it. There are also two um, LEDs, a uh, green one and a red one. And now we can connect again to the to the board and it will if we remove the jumper and power it up and down, it will 
directly start in the program. So this is already my user program, it's now connected to uh, the Wi-Fi, has the IP and everything is off. You can now remove the programming cables. You can disconnect everything again. Here this is a standard RGB LED strip. Connect probably. Here are two white LED panels. If you power it up. Uh, now the Wi-Fi is connected and I can switch them on and off over Wi-Fi and also of course change the color of the RGB stripe. So yeah. Uh, so that's it for now. I think it's the one of the first, let's call it, products with an ESP8266 directly mounted. If you need a small um, um, ESP board with 5N channel MOSFET, RX, TX and one spare pin left, two LEDs, that's probably a good choice. On the back side, um, well, let's say, okay, they connected uh, just the uh, uh, outputs from the fades to this port here with, with some wires and yeah the soldering is uh, as always on the China boards but nevertheless it has a step down converter so it's not gonna consume a huge amount of power and the overall design looks okay if they have plenty of space so the fades should cool. It's rated up to 24 volts. So great little board. It comes in this small boxes. So if you have a LED project with one single LED stripe and maybe two white or something else, a motor or whatever, it's probably a good choice. Okay, that's all for today. Um, I hope you find it interesting. I have a few other um, projects going on with the ESP8266. Uh, it's basically a uh, base for a plant and measure it. It will be wireless and battery powered. It's something I'm working on and also a sensor hub, which has a lot of sensors inside and home automation systems. Um, also with the open hub to my robot followers i currently don't have the time to finish the robot arm project but it's definitely not that i will keep on working on this maybe in a few months so see you next time bye